It's beer and food o'clock on Real L Craft Beer. I've got two fiery things to show you today from Aldi. We've got an alcoholic ginger beer at 2.8% ABV. Uh, this is a ginger beer shandy. It's a relatively new kind of range from Aldi. They're 99 pence for the can as of November 2022. And we're going to be pairing it. Of course, the fieriness coming from the ginger. We're going to be pairing it with some fiery pigs in blankets, crinkled cut crisps. Of course, it's that time of year, Christmas time in November, um, where lots of lots of supermarkets and shops sell pigs in blanket stuff. So without further ado, we are going to get this beer out into a glass and see what we get. Serve ice cold and it's premium quality. A little bit of smoke on the can opening, uh, beer in the glass. It looks very light, we've got a one finger white head, uh, good levels of carbonation rolling around in the glass there. Slightly hazy, and um, who's it brewed by? Uh, specially produced for Aldi stores, uh, so it doesn't say, doesn't say who. So maybe, maybe if you guys can comment in the comments box, it's the Hop Foundry who's made this ginger beer shandy. It's funny though; it's got alcoholic ginger beer on the front, and then ginger beer shandy on the back. But w which one is it? Is it a beer or a shandy? Let's get the aroma. Ooh, whatever they described it to be, it smells fantastic. The ginger coming through on this beer stroke shandy is incredible. Really full on. Lots of spiciness, lots of ginger. Whoa, I'm going to dive in. Cheers, everybody. Oh, that is incredibly drinkable, incredibly drinkable. Of course, it's going to be at 2.8% ABV, but it is served ice cold. I've just got it out the fridge and it is ultimately very, very refreshing. I tell you what I really like about this drink is that you're hit by that fiery, almost spicy ginger burn on the throat. But as that goes away, as that diminishes, that ginger flavour kind of passes by on the taste, you're left with this nice biscuity maltiness to finish with. And that's lovely. That really is showing that there's depth to this beer, even at 2.8% ABV. These were a pound as well. Fiery Pigs in Blankets Crinkle Cut Crisps. Uh, they are 150 grams. Whoa. There's a look at them. Ah, they look good. But are they fiery? Fiery ham crisps. Well, first and foremost, they really have got them to taste like sausage, sausage and bacon. Mmm. Oh, wow. They are quite delicious, you know. The sausage and bacon is spot on. The potato is of the highest quality, really crunchy and crispy. The flavour is all locked in to that 
ridge cut design. And I'm stalling on the spice a little bit because there is quite a bit of spice in these. Mmm. Oh, they're fabulous. It's a really lovely combination, actually. We've got the fiery burn <coughs> of the alcoholic ginger beer. And then you've got a different type of fiery burn coming from the, the chili. The ginger is much more of a fiery burn in the throat. Like a, it's almost like scratching your throat. Whereas the chili burn from these crisps is more kind of round the mouth, top of the top of your mouth, tip of your tongue kind of spice. But it all goes so, get, so well together. You could quite easily. Now I'm a, I'm a big crisp fan. I could probably polish off a whole bag of 150 gram crisps quite easily. I reckon if I bought myself three cans of this ginger beer, I could drink the three cans and eat the big bag of crisps and I'd be quite happy. It's a really lovely combination. The beer is nicely carbonated as well. And mixing that with the, the chili spice on the on the crisps, it really does kind of give a, a little bit more of that kind of... It's funny, I do a lot of these spice videos on the channel where I'll eat Carolina Reaper or um, habanero and, and, and ghost chili and all these things. And what I notice is if I have a sip of beer after I've had, I've had something crazy hot, it it explodes the carbonation even more on the palate. It's like there's a, a chemical reaction going on in the mouth with all of that chili and spice. And that's happening to a certain degree here with the beer. It's not massive, but after eating the little bit of kind of spice and chili that's in these crisps, it's just making that carbonation a little bit more aggressive. And that's working with the ginger in there to make that kind of even more fiery and kind of like a firecracker in the mouth. Lovely. Really, really lovely. Right. Uh, beer mixed with ginger ale with sugar and sweeteners. Um, Shandy Gaff made with pale ale and ginger beer. Uh, the perfect blend of citrus hops and ginger heat, bitter ale and sweet notes. A refreshing summer tipple tasty with Asian spice dishes. Um, it's really lovely, it's a 330 milliliter can, like a Red Bull style can. Um, I'm gonna rate the beer, rating the beer. For, for 99 pence a can, it's very refreshing, even if it's kind of like 2.8%. It's very good. I like that, enough to give it an eight out of 10. Eight out of 10 from Real Craft Beer. The crisps. Yeah, they're like nothing. They're, they're like another level. Mm. Mm. They're brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. You get sausage. You get pig in blanket flavour with a potato crisp. Lovely and crunchy with a nice bit of a fiery heat. I can feel the fieriness. Now, all of that kind of crisp and ginger hitting my stomach and there's a bit, a bit of a battle going on down there. Mwah. Lovely. <coughs> the, the crisps, I reckon I'm gonna give a nine out of 10. Nine out of 10 from me, little craft beer. They're really, really good. So eight for the ginger beer, nine for the crisps. Hope you liked the video. Get yourself to Aldi for Christmas. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.